everyone and welcome to Jamie Reviews. My name is Megan and I'm here to talk to you today about the update on the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro. That's a long name. So I've been running in the original Run Fast Pro since about November and now it's almost the beginning of June. So quite a while, so I've got a lot of miles in this shoe and I love it. It's weighing just about three ounces, so it's one of the lightest shoes in this category. It's super light, but still has that little bit of cushion just to protect the bottom of your foot from getting sore. I've raced a half marathon in it. I've run many mile repeats on the track to an all out mile road race in this shoe. And I've PR'd in every single race with it. I've probably put probably over a hundred miles in this shoe now. And you can see uh, it's held up pretty well. I do have some wear here on the outside that's where my foot usually strikes the track and the track is a little bit of a rougher surface so you're, you're going to get that wear there. These rubber segmented pieces have all really stayed very well and intact on the shoe and have protected the integrity of the shoe. So now I'm excited they're coming up with an updated version of this shoe. Not technically the two but a nice update to it. So. Here it is. So they didn't change a whole lot in this shoe, just some minor changes on the upper. They've kept it very similar, but with a few minor adjustments. As far as the upper goes, this shoe has a flat tongue, lots of ventilation holes, and flat laces. I did notice they changed slightly how the heel collar was shaped. Um, still hugged my heel very well, and a little bit different changes on the patterns here at the top. Um, they did keep that print overlay here to keep the little bit of structure that you need to hold the shoe together. One of the biggest things I love about the update is the aesthetics. They went to the original Reebok logo, which I find is a little bit more recognizable in the running community, so I'm kind of glad they went with that. I'm glad they didn't change it much because I absolutely loved the first version. Overall, you know, it's a very similar shoe, so this update version is just as beautiful. Impressive. As far as the fit goes, I found it very comfortable. I would say that it's maybe a hair wider than what you would find in most typical women racing shoes and maybe a hair narrower than what you would find in some men's racing shoes. So it kind of balances that middle of being a unisex shoe. On my foot, the toe box felt really great. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the shoe more and more as I broke it in, just with comfortable in the, in the toe box. My heel was pretty secure. I don't think I had any issues with that. There wasn't much support in the arch, which you know, you're gonna find in a typical racing shoe, um, pretty light as far as support goes. As for me, I would use this shoe anywhere from a race day half marathon to a race day road mile, and you know, fast training in between. Uh, it has enough cushion that I did feel comfortable running a half marathon on hard pavement with it. Some people might find it a little bit too light for that far of a distance, but my feet felt fine after running 13 miles on hard pavement with it. Now, if you love the way this shoe fits, but want a little bit more cushion for training, you have the Reebok Run Fast 2. In this shoe, it has a very similar fit. Um, it's a little bit heavier, but it has more cushion. I would still classify it as a lighter weight training shoe comparable to the New Balance Tempo. It's a great shoe to get the training in and have that similar fit to the pro version. 
I know the trend has been going to carbon plated shoes. Every shoe needs a carbon plate for racing. But think about this shoe is it's only three ounces. It's super light. Think about running you know, 13 miles and having twice as much weight on your feet. Efficiency of carbon plate or basically running with air. As far as negatives go with this shoe is the price point. Now, this shoe is price point at 250. I love this shoe. I think it's one of my, well, it is one of my favorite shoes out there, but 250, that's a lot of money. On the flip side of that, Reebok.com usually has a lot of really great sales, so you can get this shoe for a pretty good discount. And so that's my update on 100 mile review on the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro and my first impressions on the updated version. With that said, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this shoe. Do you think it's amazing like I do? Super lightweight, lots of fun to use. Um, do you find it cushioning enough? You want carbon plates? <laughs> Are you only into carbon plate racing shoes or are you brave enough to go against the trend and wear a non carbon plated racing shoe? Leave a comment, tell us what you think. And with that said, be sure to keep it tight. Okay, fine. Stay in school and don't do drugs as well. <laughs>